Hey guys, Laura with Evolution Pilates Studio here to bring you a simple and effective Pilates mat workout. Whether you're a beginner just starting Pilates or you are intermediate or advanced level, you'll find this workout both challenging and effective. When you're ready, all you will need is a mat and your body. Grab that equipment and we will get started. So we're going to start facing sideways on our mat, feet right in front of the hips, hands to the thighs. You can move your feet as far away as you need to from your body to make yourself feel as comfortable as possible. I'd like you to be sitting up as tall as you can on your sit bones here, using your hands to guide your chest slightly forward over the thighs. From here, we're just going to inhale, grow as tall as we can through the back of the neck, and then exhale, round the spine back, allowing the arms to straighten. Pause here for a moment. Deepen the connection to your belly by pulling the navel to the spine. Inhale and sit all the way back up tall. Again, inhale, grow tall at the top of the movement. Exhale, round the spine back, extending through the arms. Good, pause for a moment, deepen that belly connection, and then inhale, rise back up on top of the sit bones. Let's do that just twice more. Rounding the spine back, letting the arms straighten. Tailbone tucking under and then sitting up nice and tall on your inhale. One more time here, and we're gonna stay in this rounded spinal position, using your hands on your thighs as much as possible or as much as needed. Come up and down just about an inch here. Good, use your hands as little as you can and really focus on that connection in your deep abdominals here to lift your torso up and down. If you don't need your hands, you do not have to use them. You can just float them right outside of the thighs. Let's do five more here, and four, and three, and two, and last one. From here, walk your feet in a little bit closer to you, and let's roll the spine all the way down onto the mat here. Good, now we're gonna be working in a neutral or natural position of the spine for a few moments. So I want you to feel the back of your rib cage nice and heavy on the mat and your sacrum. And depending on your shape of your spine, you may have a little bit of space underneath your low back here. You wanna brace through your belly, acting as if somebody just punched you in the tummy, and then arms down by the sides. Bring your feet in fairly close to you, keep your spine nice and quiet, and bring one knee into a tabletop position. From here, without letting your spine move at all, we're just gonna toe tap that toe forward and lift it back up. And toe tap that toe forward and lift it back up. Good, now the further you reach your toe away from you, the more the abdominals have to work to stabilize the spine. So you can kind of play around with how far you reach your toe towards the edge of the mat here. Good, let's do four more on this side. Collarbones are wide, jaws relaxed, neck is relaxed. Last two. And last time. Bring that foot back in and switch to the other side. Knee into a tabletop position. Tap the toe forward and down and up. Now this exercise is quite simple, but effective as long as you keep your spine nice and steady. So if I'm arching and rounding my back all over the place, I will not work my abdominals. If I keep my spine almost like I'm sandwiching it together front to back and side to side, I'll get an effective abdominal workout here. Good, play around again with how far you reach the foot forward towards the end of the mat. And you've got four more. And three. And two. And last time. Carefully slide that foot in. Let's bring both knees up into a tabletop position here now. So knees are directly over the hips. Your shins are parallel to the floor. And again, I'm bracing my belly, imagining that somebody just punched me right in the stomach. When you're ready, you're just gonna toe tap one foot forward and up, and the other foot forward and up. Same concept applies, the further you reach, the more the abdominals have to brace to keep the spine nice and grounded. Beautiful job. The weight is still in the back of the rib cage on the mat. Good, and you can always make this movement quite a lot smaller. So maybe the toe taps are just an inch or two forward instead of all the way to the ground. So take your time and just find what works for you, where you're still getting a challenging movement, 
but you feel nice and safe and then like you're not going to strain your back. Good. Keep going here for four and three and two and last time. Now both knees are going to come back into tabletop. Remember knees over hip shins parallel to the floor. Let's glue our inner thighs together here. Widen our arms on the floor and keep both shoulder blades anchored down and back. Squeeze your inner thighs. Let the knees rock over to one side. Pause for a moment. Your opposite hip is lifted slightly off the floor here. Your knees are even with one another. So the tendency is for one knee to drop back I'd like you to try to keep those knees right next to one another in the air. From here, exhale and bring yourself back center. Let's go to the other side. Check in with your body. Opposite hip is lifted. Knees are even. And then bring those knees back center. And again, up and over. Only going so far that you can keep both shoulder blades anchored down on the mat. Good. Beautiful. Now let's bring those knees over to one side and pause again. From here we're just going to change the movement slightly. So instead of bringing the body back in one fell swoop, we're going to articulate the movement back down to the mat. So if your knees are traveling to the right like me, you're going to take your left ribs down to the mat first, then your left waistline, and then your left hip. Let's practice that again to the same side. So knees go over to the right, left rib comes down, left waistline comes down, left hip comes down. We'll do three more like that, just on that same side. Move the knees over to the right, then left ribs, left waistline, left hip. And again, over, left ribs, left waistline, left hip. Last time, over, left ribs, left waistline, left hip. Hip. Hug those knees in for me for a moment. Relax your hip flexors, wiggle your toes around for a second before we move to the other side. So we'll bring those knees back into tabletop, inner thighs squeeze together, shins parallel to the floor, arms are anchored outside of the hips. Soften the front of your ribs here. Now let's move the knees over to the left, and now you take your left ribs, your left waistline, your left hip back down to the mat. Good, and again, over. Left ribs, left waistline, left hip. Over, left ribs, left waistline, left hip. Let's just do two more here. And one more time, just articulating those ribs, that waistline, and that hip back to the mat. Bring your feet down to the floor for a moment. Take your feet wide and your knees narrow and just rock those knees a little bit side to side here. Very nice. From here, we're gonna bring our feet in line with our sit bones, feet flat on the floor, and bring our hands back behind our head. I'd like you to take your elbows into your peripheral vision and slide your shoulder blades down your back, creating space between your ears and your shoulders. Take a breath, inhale. Exhale, slide the front ribs down to the hips, tuck the chin slightly forward toward the chest, and lift the head, neck, and chest up. This is our C-curve position here. So our upper back is rounded up off of the floor, and I'm doing that by sliding the front ribs down to the hips. I'm not pulling on my neck. I have a little space between my chin and my chest here. Take a breath here, and then lower everything down. Inhale at the bottom, exhale. Slide the front ribs down to the hips. Let the chin float up, lift the head, neck, and chest, and then lower everything down. Let's do that a few more times. Exhale the breath, slide the front ribs down to the hips and curl up. Nice deep breaths here. Elbows reaching wide across the room. Nice, now see if you can keep your tailbone nice and heavy on the mat here. A big tendency for people is when they round their upper back, their lower back tends to come with it and come into this rounded shape throughout the spine. For now, I just want to isolate the roundness or the forward flexion in the upper body. And four more here, exhale. And three. Last two. 
Now on this last one, let's just lift up and hold up there. I want you to see if you can slide your front ribs down to your hips more and more and more and more. So this is the top of your movement. Stay here and pulse. Elbows wide, head, neck, and chest towards the thighs for eight, seven, six, four, three, two, and one. Lower everything back down. Take a breath. Inhale. Exhale. Lift your elbows into your peripheral vision. Slide your shoulder blades down your back. Start your exhale. Lift your head, neck, and chest up. Lift up higher. Lift up higher. Lift up higher. Stay here and pulse for eight. Seven, six, good, four, three, two, and one. Slowly lower everything back down. One more round. Elbows lift, shoulder blades slide down. On your exhale, your head, neck, and chest curl up. Curl up higher, curl up higher, curl up higher, and pulse for eight. Seven, six, last four, three, two, and one. Slowly descend everything back down. Very nice job. Okay, let's bring our right knee into a tabletop position. Your left foot can just be down on the floor. We're gonna work on a little bit of rotation here. So again, same movement to start. Start your exhale, slide your front ribs down to your hips, curl the head, neck, and chest up, elbows are wide. Now, I want you to rotate your opposite hip towards the midline of your body. So if your right leg is up, your left ribs are rotating towards the midline of your body. So that right or that left elbow is also towards the midline. From here, we're gonna curl up a little higher and lower, and curl up a little higher and lower, reaching that elbow straight down the center line of the body. If you would like, add an arm reach and then bring the elbow back. Arm reach and arm back. Let's do four more here, and three, last two, and last one. Either keep that arm reaching or hand behind the head and just pulse, stretch, stretch. Just rotating that left rib towards the middle for eight, seven, six, last four, three, two, and one everything comes back down to center. Lower that foot down. Let's lift our left knee back up into tabletop here. Again, lift the elbows up off of the floor, slide the shoulder blades down, slide the front ribs down to the hips and curl the head, neck and chest up. From here, your right elbow is going to rotate towards the midline of the body. And now we lift that elbow up and forward. And up and forward. Maybe adding that reach of the arm, reach and bend, and reach and bend. Let's do four more here. Exhaling on that reach, last two. And last time, hold the arm long or keep the hand behind the head and just pulse for eight, seven, six. You're doing great, last four, three, two and one everything comes back down through center very nice job guys lower your arms down by your sides bring your heels nice in line with your sit bones beautiful collarbones are nice and open again the front ribs are soft from here we are just going to work on a nice articulating bridge so to initiate the movement i want you to deepen your belly and tuck your tailbone under towards the back of your knees press evenly through the heels and the balls of the feet then continue to tuck that tailbone under as you peel your spine up off of the mat, one vertebra at a time, going as slow as you possibly can so that the one vertebra above the one that's lifting is actually pressing down a little deeper into the mat. And we continue to massage the spine as we lift all the way up into our bridge. Now when you get to the top of your bridge, I want your front ribs to still be soft Find that connection between the ribs and the hips, and then maybe press the pelvis up a little higher. Pay attention to your feet. Make sure your big toes and pinky toes are equally anchored into the mat. Thigh bones are parallel. We are just gonna hold it here for a moment, squeezing the glutes, softening the ribs, 
Find that long line from shoulder to knee. Hold for five, four, three, two, and one. From here, we'll articulate down. So the sternum softens down to the mat first, then the ribs, then the waistline, then the low back. Finally, the tailbone unfurls onto the mat. Good, take a breath at the bottom, inhale. Exhale, we'll do that whole thing again, maybe a little quicker this time. Tucking the tailbone under towards the back of the knees, feel the low back pressing towards the floor. Even weight between the heels and the balls of the feet. Keep lifting that tailbone as you slowly massage your spine all the way up to the shoulder blades. At the top of the movement, find length between the knees and the shoulders. Slide the front ribs down to the hips and propel the hips up to the sky. Pause here and hold for five, four, three, two, and one. From the back of the sternum, let that come down first. Melt the ribs down next. Melt the waistline down next. Melt the back of the sacrum down next. And finally, let the tailbone unfurl. Take a breath at the bottom, one more. Even weight between the heels and the balls of the feet. Tailbone tucks under towards the back of the knees. Massage your spine all the way up. Find your long line at the top of the movement. Hips go high, ribs stay soft. Hold for five, four, three, two, and one. And then melt the spine down from the sternum to the ribs, to the waist, to the sacrum and the tailbone. Very nice job, okay. Move your feet a little further away from you. Feet flat on the floor, let's bring one toe to the ceiling. Now if you've got tight hamstrings, you just soften that knee a little bit. We're going to work on some leg circles here. So first things first, your shoulders are evenly weighted. So are your hips, your hips are nice and grounded on the mat. And now we're gonna start with little circles here. Around, across the body, around and up, across the body, around and up. Beautiful. Now you can make your circles bigger and bigger and bigger as long as the shoulders and the hips stay nice and weighted on the mat. Nothing's rocking around here. Everything is grounded. Option to extend your other leg down on the mat. Heel pressing into the mat, toes flex towards the ceiling. Let's do eight, seven, six, last four, three, good, and reverse it for eight, seven, both sides of the waistline are nice and long here, the last four, and three, and two, and one, bring that foot down, bring the other foot up to the ceiling, soften the knee as your option, and cross over the body, and circle for eight, seven, Six, hips and shoulders are nice and steady for four, three, and reverse it for eight, seven, work from deep within that hip socket, last four, three, two, and one, bend whatever foot is up towards the ceiling, just bend that knee in, we're going to take our other leg up off of the floor at an angle that suits you. For this exercise, I'm going to ask you to press your low back down to the mat, and that might mean your leg has to be a little bit higher, which is totally fine. Now we're going to curl our head, neck, and chest up here by pressing our shin into our hands, our hands into our shin, and then we'll just change our hand position slightly. So. Your outside hand will come to your ankle. Your inside hand will come to your knee. This is our traditional position for single leg stretch. From here, we're going to pull twice on that knee towards the chest, switch and pull twice on the other knee. Notice my hand switch position. And switch and switch. Now what is up with this fancy little hand position? Well, you are pushing in on your ankle and pushing out on your knee just slightly in order to keep the knee and the ankle in line with the hip bone. So that's why we have our hands in this um, orientation. Little pull twice, little pull twice. For eight, really stretch all the way across the room. Seven, six, five, three. 
last two, and last one. Bend the knees in, lower the head down. Let's look over one shoulder and the other and relax the neck. Good. From here we'll do a very similar movement, but this time with straighter legs. So one leg reaches out long across the room, the other leg reaches towards the sky. We will lift our head, neck and chest up and grab onto the backs of our calf or our thigh. Your top leg again can have that soft bend, especially if you have tight hamstrings. Use the strength of your arms to help curl you up a little bit higher, chin to chest. From here, we're gonna switch the legs, pull, pull twice, switch, pull, pull twice. Exhale, and exhale. For four, three, two, and one. Bend the knees and lower the head down. Very nice job. Okay. Here we'll go back into a double leg movement. So double, double leg stretch. You're gonna hug your knees into you like you're making yourself into a little ball. Bring your hands onto your shins. Press your shins forward so you can lift your head, neck, and chest up. Now let's just start with the arms. Your knees are going to stay nice and close to you. Rounded spine, just reach your arms back behind you, out to a T, and circle back to your shins. Back behind you, out to a T, and circle. Notice my head, neck, and chest are staying lifted. My gaze is towards my thighs throughout. Just two more here. And last time. Lower that head back down. Good, now we'll try the legs. So we curl our head, neck, and chest back up again, and just extend the legs forward to whatever angle feels appropriate, and then bend the knees back in. So those legs can be high or low. Head, neck, and chest are still up, gaze is still towards the thighs. Just do two more here. And last time. Bend the knees and lower the head down, look over one shoulder and the other. Now let's put it all together. So we'll extend those arms back behind us, out to a T and circle as the legs extend forward. Hands to the shins to start. Let's exhale and curl our head, neck, and chest up. Gaze is towards the thighs throughout the whole exercise. Inhale, extend arms away from legs. Arms to a T and circle, knees come in. We'll do three more like that. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Last time, inhale and exhale lower the head very nice look side to side beautiful let's bring our hands down by our sides or underneath our sacrum for this next exercise so toes to the ceiling here soft bend in the knees as an option we're going to press our low back down onto the mat and then lower our legs forward as far as we can keep our low back pressed down to the mat take a breath inhale here and then exhale lift everything back up Focus on using those abdominals. Draw those abdominals deeply in as the legs lift. Inhale down. Exhale deep in the abdominals. And lift. Inhale down. Exhale deepen. And lift. Let's do three more. And two. And last time and lift up, bend those knees. Very nice, one more abdominal exercise to come, which is the crisscross. We'll start with one foot down on the floor, one toe, set of toes, the other knee in tabletop, hands behind the head. Again, elbows lift into your peripheral vision, slide the shoulder blades down, slide the front ribs down to your hips, you're in your forward flexion. Now we're gonna rotate towards our lifted knee, switch the legs and rotate towards our other knee. You can stay here with both knees bent, or you can add on or change the leg position by going to our single leg stretch position, reaching the leg all the way across the room, and switch, and switch. We're still rotating our right rib towards the midline and then our left rib towards the midline like we practiced a few minutes ago. Good, just adding in leg movement with that upper body movement. Let's do four, and three, and two, and last time. Bring everything in, hug the knees into the chest. Roll those knees around in a slight circle. Beautiful. From here, let's roll over onto our side. We are going to sit up for a moment. 
Bring our feet about the width of the mat, knees pointing up to the ceiling. Knees are slightly bent, sitting up nice and tall on those sit bones. Bring the hands forward of the shoulders, let the shoulder blades relax down and slide the front ribs down to the hips. Let's work on an exercise called a spine stretch forward. So in this exercise, we're gonna reach our hands like we have a little tabletop under our hands right here. Reach your hands forward on that tabletop, they're parallel to the floor, rounding the spine, imagining you're pulling the navel back to the back of the room, and then stack the spine up again, growing as tall as you possibly can. Inhale at the top. Exhale, slide your hands forward on that table. Round the spine, pull the navel back to the back of the room. And then stack the spine up again. If you'd like, extend those legs long. Again, round the spine. Deeply pull that navel back. And then stack it up. Two more here, round and reach. Stack and lift. Last time, round and reach. And stack and lift. Again, knees can be bent for this next exercise or not. Hands behind the head, elbows wide. Let's twist the spine to one side as you exhale. Inhale back center. Exhale, twist the spine the other way. Inhale back center. Now as I rotate, if I'm rotating to the right, my right ribs are pulling back, my left ribs are pulling forward. When I come back center, I'm straightening those ribs out to the front of the room. Exhale, twist, ribs twist. Inhale, center, ribs come center. My hips are nice and stable. My feet are not moving. My knees are not moving. And exhale. One more each way here. And last time through. Come center, release the arms. And let's roll over onto our belly. So working on a little back extension here. We're gonna bring the feet about the width of the mat. All 10 toes are anchored into the mat. And I'm gonna bring my elbows underneath my shoulders. Fingertips spread on the floor here, shoulder blades sliding down the back. From here, lengthen the spine forward so your body's in one nice long line. Lift the low belly up so you're pressing your pubic bone slightly down into the mat. Tailbone is reaching towards the heels. From here, I'm just gonna imagine I'm pulling myself forward with my hands and my elbows. I'm gonna slide my shoulder blades even further down the back, taking my sternum forward and up, and find a bit of back extension. From here, lengthen the top of your head towards the wall in front of you, drawing your low ribs into your low back, and find that nice long line again. And again here, pull your hands towards you, lifting the sternum forward and up, crown of the head reaching towards the upper corner of the room. Find that beautiful back extension, and then when you're ready, slide the front ribs down to the hips, lifting the belly button up, finding the long line of the spine. Let's do two more like that. Sternum comes forward, hands pull back, shoulder blades pull down, gaze comes forward. And slide the front ribs down to the hips, pull the belly button up, and reach the crown of the head forward to the wall in front of you. Let's do one more like that. Very nice job. Take your hands down to your forehead. Your forehead down to your hands. Take one hand on top of another and lower your forehead down. Feet are still wide here. Let's lift our head off our hands just an inch and then we'll lift our hands up to meet our head. Then lift your head up one more inch and lift your hands up to meet your head. Maybe we go one more level. Lift the head up just an inch and lift the hands up to meet the head and then lower everything down. We'll do that twice more. Head comes up, upper body comes up just slightly. Hands come up to meet it. And again, upper body and hands, upper body and hands and lower everything down. One more time, upper body and hands, upper body and hands, upper body and hands, pause, 
reach those arms forward, palms facing each other, and just swim through the arms, right, left, right, left. Maybe the lower body goes right, left, right, left. Swimming here for eight, seven, six, last four, three, two, and one. Hands under the shoulders, press yourself up and back, pushing your hips back towards your heels, knees wide, palms to the sky. Forehead to the mat, and rest. Beautiful. When you're ready, come up onto your hands and your knees, hands under shoulders, knees underneath the hips, and we will round the spine into a cat position, puffing up the back of the ribs, pulling the navel in, and then arch the back, taking our gaze forward and our tailbone up. Two more like that, round the spine, and arch the back. And last time, round the spine. And arch the back. Beautiful, guys. Thank you so much for coming today for this simple and effective Pilates mat routine. I hope you really enjoyed it. Make sure that you subscribe down below. Turn on notifications so you don't miss the next workout. Also, if you have any questions or comments, leave those down as well below. And I really do appreciate you coming, so thank you so much. Bye, guys.